What it do, Jive Turkeys, and welcome back to The Controversy. I'm your host, Dean Elliott Carter, and this is the most beautiful gal in the world, Tatiana Wilson. Hello. And this is the Boondocks Rewatch. I'm waking up, new shoes, new socks, two blocks, TV, locked on Boondocks. Boondocks, I bought a brand new Trey 8 with my old AK today. What's good day? All right, everybody, we are on episode five of season one, and this is the most craziest episode, in my opinion. Last uh, we, last time we did, in my opinion, the funniest episode. This one is the, the craziest one. This is a date with a health inspector. Now, I don't know if you've seen this one. I have not. You have not. This one uh, has guest stars Samuel L. Jackson and bringing back Charlie Murphy. And, yeah, it's um, this one gets crazy. This one gets crazy. But without further ado... The same guy. They're the same character? Yes, yes. Uh, Charlie Murphy and Samuel Jackson both play white guys, and I love it. I love the choice of what they did with that. Uh, but yes, this is uh, this is more of a like a, a Tom episode. Uh, so, without further ado, a date with a health inspector. Here we go! I'll buy you a drink right now if you could tell me who that whose voice that is. Can I listen to it? I'm I'm finished. <laughs> no, no, nigga, you ain't finished. I've been watching you. You have? You ain't watched behind your ears or nothing. <laughs> That's Terry Crews. That's what I thought. It's him. Yep. <laughs> I like. I thought that not even really because of the voice, but because of like the look. <laughs> Wait but it doesn't even sound like him, really, to me. Yeah, it's, it's definitely him. Wait till you see the rest of him. See how I'm all clean, glistening shit. That's hygiene, nigga. You can call me the health inspector. Now pick up the soap. <laughs> Let's steal some. Well, what if we get caught? We'll get arrested and anally raped. Tom, did you erase all my MP3s? Hey! File sharing is a crime, and I'm not going to be anally raped so you can listen to Usher. <laughs> you know, that feet. What if going to prison, that was a requirement? Like, mm. like the judge is doing his sentencing, and right, he's like, you got, you got five years for burglary, you got two years for arson, and I sentence you to seven years plus three anal rapes. You have three consecutive anal rapes you have to go through. Consecutive? <laughs> back to back. Yikes. Yeah, they gonna run a train on you. If Tom believed in order. You got the he bar so you see time. that? <laughs> he had never Hello? Ryan, is that you? Put your brother on, it's an emergency. What's the emergency? I'm in jail. <laughs> Don't drop soap. Wow. Who's that? They say I fit the description. I think it's cause I'm black, Huey. <laughs> you have to get me out of here, Huey. You don't want to know what they'll do to me in jail. They'll rape you. That's what they're going to do. Wow. But Well, it's just a weekend. It only takes one night to get angrily raped. Feel me. That's... The only way for me to get out of here is to <laughs> keep on the real killer on tonight. The, the real killer? Nigga, I'm 10. How am I going to find the real killer? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Thank you, Huey. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't tell my baby Jasmine. I don't want her to know her daddy was somebody's bitch. <laughs> Jinra, what's good, baby? It's all good, man. I was just making some breakfast. Come on in. Can you help us do it? I'd be dead on his ass like Spencer for fucking hire. I hunt him down and feed him his own testicles. And I do it in a jiffy. And I don't care if his mama the ass, grandmama, innocent bystanders, little kids, babysitters, bill collectors, whatever. I leave his whole block filled with hot grass if I have to. And you know why? Because I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> Y'all sure you don't want no breakfast? That's somebody you need in your corner. But... Just to call, just in case. Now, not not to hang out with every other day, but yeah, that's somebody you read just in case shit happened. You liar! You killed him, didn't you, you sick bastard? I am <laughs> Even if you didn't kill him, just admit that you killed him. I promise you, you won't go to jail. You Smack see how they do us? I promise you. <laughs> what? <laughs> so 
you say that if I confess, I won't go to jail? I give you my word. <laughs> no anal rape? No anal rape. <laughs> <laughs> mean that you have evidence that something doesn't exist. What? What country are you from? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English in what? <laughs> what? English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Yeah. So you understand the words I'm saying to you? Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is that there are known knowns and that there are known unknowns, but there's also unknown unknowns. Things we don't know that we don't know. What? Say what again? Say what again? <laughs> I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more time. So I watched this um, before I watched Pulp Fiction. Um, obviously, Pulp Fiction came out way before this did, but I never knew this was like a recycled line from Pulp Fiction. That's cool that they got Samuel Jackson to do that line again. So funny. I love that. I love that that bit right there from both. Like, you watch it in Pulp Fiction, it's funny as hell. You watch it in the Boondocks, it's funny as shit. Him cussing a kid out. Beautiful. Yeah. Comedy gold. <laughs> he talking about diplomacy. I don't do diplomacy. <laughs> He's busting in a random apartment. <laughs> it's terrible we laughing at this shit, but it's funny as hell. I know who did the killing. I've known for 20 minutes. Guy's name is Terrell Jackson. He's been bragging about it all day. Everybody knows. He lives five minutes away. I've got MapQuest directions right here. How'd you find all this out? We talk to people. Look, he got a weapon. Oh, wait a minute now. Put the gun down. Gun? What gun? <laughs> I'm not holding gun. Pulling a weapon. I am not holding a weapon. Officer, this motherfucker got a gun pointing at you. You want to die? What? Do you want to die? I, I don't want to die. He does not have a gun. He does have a gun, officer. Trust me. The absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. I don't see a gun! Man, fuck this shit. Whose side you on? <laughs> Mine or this motherfucker who's obviously of terrorist descent? Now you see what happened. I think that they have BB guns or something because this guy gets back up and he starts shooting. See? They shot... They shot that man at close range and he got up and started shooting. I don't think I'm dying. Oh, well, I want you to know you wasn't mortally wounded. In fact, actually, I think I'm gonna make it. You hear that, you sweaty bastard? Freddy ain't dead. <laughs> Freddy say, bring it on, bitch. Bring it! <laughs> Is that the bus that's gonna take me to real butt pounding? <laughs> no bus. You're free to go. What the fuck y'all looking at? <laughs> Remember he said that at the garden party? He says it every every episode. <laughs> now that the other guys aren't even terrorists. They're just racist. <laughs> like, and they made the front page. They're all heroes and shit. <laughs> they don't even look alike. That's what's funny about it. <laughs> they don't even look alike. Right. That was a date with a health inspector. Toddy, I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Because that, I told you, it was going to be a roller coaster. It was a doozy. It was a very interesting episode. Very, very. Did you think it was good? Did you think yeah. it was funny? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was definitely funny. I think that it did definitely make a really good point about, like, just how racist and stupid people were given after 9 11. Like, mm -hmm. people were Remember just this came like, out in really 05. willing to. You're like, oh, yeah, he yeah, has yeah. a bomb. Yeah, yeah. Just because he has a head covering. Mm -hmm. Like, this, come on. Come yeah. on. So, yeah, no. that It made a, a really, really good point. I like the way that they focused on that. Yeah, uh, racial discrimination. And, and then stuff just, like that. you know, yeah. of course, being like, oh, the white people, they <laughs> saved us all. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, we can we can go into the message of white privilege and the white savior trope. But uh, I think the biggest message in this episode, to me, was anal uh, rape. And, well, besides <laughs> anal rape, you commit a crime, your butt's getting pounded, you, you get inserted and out and in and out and in and out, and yeah, don't commit crimes. 
or you will get raped. No, I'm just kidding. It's not how. Well, I don't know. I've never been to prison. Uh, but uh, the biggest thing I took out of this episode was uh, ignorance has no race. Ignorance definitely has no race. Uh, so everything you've seen these crazy white guys do is what they portray us in some movies, and just what society has portrayed us: movies, television, music etc you know stuff like that people's ignorance of black stereotypes uh i think this episode's biggest uh hit home was like nah anybody could be like this i've literally seen people of um uh, muslim descent act like that i've literally seen white people act like that i've seen asians act like oh i've seen a lot of asians act like that i've seen hispanics act like that i've seen black people act like that i think this is hitting home like this is a stupid black stereotype of like ignorance and you know uh, gun violence and, and just violence in general and just stupidity acting a damn fool for no damn reason this is a universal thing of every person of every race how we how the black people got this weird stereotype I'll never understand um, how that how all that stuff uh, has been the spotlight on the black community I'll never understand but that's the biggest thing I got out of this was like look anybody can act, act this fucking stereotypically you know it's that is what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, I I thought that was funny. Of course, the beginning scenes of the anal rape was funny as hell. But the, just the banner of and I, I rest in peace, Charlie Murphy. But just the back and forth with Charlie Murphy and Samuel L. Jackson. I think those two had great chemistry. Yeah, it yeah. worked perfectly. I loved it. We're gonna see more of them, you know, especially in this season and seasons to go. But like they, those two were like a match made in heaven, and I would have loved to see more of that. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like them. Yeah. You got any more thoughts on this? Do you think, uh, <laughs> what'd you think of, uh, like, the, when he called from the interrogation scene? <laughs> she didn't oh, get like he was, like, hitting him and stuff? Yeah. The good cop and bad cop shit. Like, the good cop was, like, uh, the bad cop was just beating the hell out of him, trying to get something out of him. And the good cop was like, hey, if you confess, I'll let you go. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm never going to fall for that. <laughs> A couple hours later. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was great. And that's, if you ever watched First 48, they do yeah. that shit all the time. They yeah. do that shit all the time. And, you know, a lot of innocent people go to jail out of fear. Out yeah. of fear because they like. When you're sitting in a room and you're just having someone yell at you the whole time and telling you that you did it, like, and you have no support, you have no one to back mm-hmm. you up. Especially if you're young, like, yeah. like with uh, the Central Park Five, cause mm-hmm. they did that to them. I mean, they're children. Oh yeah, being interrogated. Some people brutally. Some people start um, questioning if they actually did it. Yeah, knowing damn well they didn't do it. You just kind of start like losing <laughs> your mental. Like yeah, uh, you're just like I just want to not be yeah. screamed at and yelled at and you exactly. know like basically abused. I don't want this abuse, so I'm just gonna <laughs> cave in and say I did, even though I know I didn't do it. I wasn't there. I you know didn't I know have nothing is... to do with me, but right. I just want to be over with this. Like mm-hmm. this sucks. <laughs> I know this is a it's cartoon, awful. but I, I'm surprised he, did, he, someone that works for the justice system, didn't ask for a lawyer. I'm, I'm really surprised. Yeah. But, you know, but yeah. if he would have did that, we would never got. Maybe he thought he scenes. didn't need one since he was one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he, he was, was just like, I obviously didn't do it, but you know, stereotypes. He looks like the. They thought he looked like the person, even though it looked nothing like him. Uh, but nah, I love this episode. Not even the same skin tone, like at no, all. No, nah. he was light very, skin and very yeah, off. dark as hell. Help keep his brother out the street. Subscribe to my dad's YouTube channel. Love, peace, and chicken.